Hey guys, it is Jacob here and this will be the first video of the new season. I'll be playing Selena. A few days ago, before all the patch notes were finalized, I've made a short list of what skills would be interesting for me to play on her. So I would like to ask the first video, which is a theory craft for her, <coughs> go through the skills that I write about, wrote about like three days ago. So yeah, let's go through it. I had to translate it to English. So I went through the skills on Serena. First skill that probably most of the people will play will be Icebound Beam. Uh, and that's, that's what why I think most people will play it is because it was uh, in the presentation videos for her. So yeah, <coughs> for that build. You will stack projectile quantity, additional beams for better clear and for even better clear like plus one or plus two beam reflections which gives the icebound beam uh, projectiles plus two jumps per beam reflection. And then uh, the skill modifications that they added, ice beam ring blade that might be a nice skill, a nice uh, addition but I don't know how the projectile will scale and since you cannot scale everything on one build uh, there will be probably no space to scale area of effect or projectile speed for the specific projectile but yeah we will have to see how that will play second option that came into my mind scorching beam that one will probably not be played but is a possibility because there are two uh, different types of the additions <coughs> for the skill which would be scorching beam disintegrate which will be uh, which would be great for clearing uh, the disintegrate addition fixes the maximum stacks to one so it would keep exploding as you go <coughs> those uh, being great for the clear and then the second option for single target there's a scorching beam immolate which gives it plus 13 maximum channel stacks and it explodes every three stacks and triggers self-destruct on the monster which give which uh, basically gives minus five percent maximum life and yes so you would basically no matter how much damage you do you would kill the monster eventually just by just through the self-destruct <coughs> third option building beam uh, I mean dot builds were great uh, always and even after the nerfs to some of the damage over time passives they will still be very strong so building beam in combination with shadow shot and shadow swamp but we'll have to see how shadow shot will work with the setting as uh, wrapping spells into the bubbles <coughs> so yeah the idea is that you would at the start of the map put a maxed shadow swamp maximum like all all, all links shadow swamp six links shadow swamp on the ground then uh, auto cast shadow shots through some of the automation gems if they are still in the game and then you would go through the map <coughs> casting building beam which gives you extra damage and extra source of reap and the shadow shot would move the shadow swamp throughout the entire map with you yeah that's the idea behind that behind that and the last one which i will be playing and the, it, it, in my opinion will be probably the best skill for her would be howling gale and for that skill that scale scales from maximum channel stacks, AOE and cast speed, which all of that is great for Selena. <coughs> and the build would be pro probably the same as last season, where you would play Cicada Shell with Light Hunter and stack life and ES. But uh, uh, in the last patch notes changes, <coughs> Cicada Shell got reworked. I mean, people think that the armor is not good anymore uh, we will have to test it I think that it is still great because uh, 
A Howling Gale has a really high like added damage effectiveness and Cicada Shell still gives you additional damage and we will be able to stack um, we will be able to stack energy shield to um, really high levels like at level 30 which will be your target uh, 348 additional damage effectiveness for Howling Gale so yeah and let's check the Cicada Shell changes Cicada Shell <coughs> they are removing the 50% damage taken by Passes Energy Shield which yeah great and they are reducing the 8 to 10 percent of maximum energy shield to attack and spells um, they are reducing it by 90 percent pretty much but yeah with this change you can go full out on energy shield and you can even go low life because you don't need to care about your life anymore since you are not getting damage to your life so yeah, we can stack the energy shield very high and uh, plus max resistances. That's awesome defensive layer, especially on the higher tiers of maps where you get one tapped by um, environmental effects pretty much. If this armor does not work, <coughs> there's a new armor coming uh, with the new season which is uh, oh, what what was the name is is Raphael's sorrow so that would be my option number two where stacking 1000 intelligence shouldn't be a, a problem for us and this is flat called damage added to the skill which then sca then gets scaled but by 350 percent almost so yeah any additional damage on any gear in the end most of the builds will be played with mostly rare gear this season so yeah i have a build in my mind and howling kill will be the thing that i'll be playing <coughs> uh, where you will be stuck in maximum channel stacks car speed focus blessings and area of effect wherever possible and there are <coughs> two interesting like additions to the Howling Gale skill. Howling Gale Furious Sweep gives you additional attack frequency per channel stack. And that will be great for a single target. So you can have a, a skill variant variation for single target damage. And then for clearing, on the other hand, you can use Howling Gale Eye of the Gale, which, as I understand it, <coughs> turns the tornado and wraps it around the player so you don't you do not target it anymore but it, it spins around you and you basically just brain just go brain dead through the map and everything around you dies that's how i see this so <clears throat> yeah we'll see now that will wrap up this video i will hop into the game and i will start leveling so yeah thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next one.